welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be kitting up this diamond painting. This is a diamond painting with a flag and a red truck. I figured I was going to go do this for, um, I guess, my 4th of July picture. Um, yes, it's not yet 4th of July, but it takes time to diamond paint, so you have to start earlier. So yeah. Um, so here is the original image right there. Um, so yeah, I called this flat red, red truck. I got this from QLUO shop. It was $12.99. It was, it is a 40 by 50 with poured glue, rhinestone drills that have DMC and there are only 17 colors in this. So yeah, 17 colors. I'm really hoping it'll turn out with just 17 colors, but we'll see, right? So um, I'm going to move this off to the side for the kitting up. So um, we're going to use the Harbor Freight containers. Um, since there are only 17 colors, I decided to um, add some of these bigger containers because I was using some of my Harbor Freights for other things. So I'll find whatever. I'm assuming there's going to be something that just means a lot with just only 17 colors. So. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I, oh, I did scan the legend and make labels. I actually have just recorded a video where I show you how to make these labels. And this is actually the one that I use to, um, <laughs> to make the video. So look out for that video. It may be up already. And if it is, I'll link it in the eye. If not, look out for it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's already recorded. So. I just need to figure out when that's going to go on. So let me see, where is number one? I'm just want, wondering if any of these are so many that they'll probably need the bigger ones. So it looks like C. Okay, so what's weird is the symbols are what's on the containers and not like, you know, a number, but looks like C, D. Just maybe just two of them might need the bigger Thing. So that's what I'm guessing. C and D will need the bigger ones. So wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 15, 16, 17. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think C and D will need the bigger container. Otherwise, it'll just need, everything else just needs just the smaller one. So yeah, let's just, let's put C and D in there just so that I could already have the label there. Oops. I must have not cut these that well. Okay. So C and D and then everything else will just be on the Harbor Freight containers here. Okay. Let's see. So yeah, probably I don't need these because I this is already B17. I'm just gonna put these up here just to hold it up. Um, so yeah. Let's see. So yeah, what was I gonna talk about today? Uh, so someone left in a comment as a possible um, topic to talk about while kidding up was Washington State. Well, um, I'm probably like a horrible Washington State resident mainly because I'm a transplant. So anything I know about Washington State, I did not learn in school or anything, which remarkably you do learn a lot of things in school about the current state where you live in. Um, so I came to Washington from California. I was, I primarily lived in the San Francisco Bay area of California for most of my life prior to um, moving to Washington. So yeah, I know a little bit more about California. So, um, but we'll see how much I could like, okay. So let's see. So Washington, okay. So California, if, you know the big places in California, which is probably Los Angeles and San Francisco. They are, um, the names of the places is Spanish based. So like 
Los Angeles is the angels. Um, San Francisco, I'm going for is Saint Francisco or Saint Francis. Um, while Washington State, um, I guess the biggest, I, I be, prior to wash, go, moving to Washington State, probably the biggest places you, you might have heard of is Seattle and Tacoma. Um, so unlike California, Seattle and Tacoma are named after um, Native American words or people. I think Seattle was named after like a, um, a Native American chief. I don't know about Tacoma, but Tacoma is also a Native American word. And a lot of the places in Washington are named after um, some sort of Native American term or person. Um, I don't know enough. I think if I had gone to school in Washington, they probably would have taught me more of this um, Washington history. But um, all of this is just me just curiously looking it up after moving here. So, so yeah, um, most of my, I guess, experience with Washington State is, all right, you know, I should show you some, I, I did put the, I did anticipate this for, for this thing. So let me show you some pictures of, here, turn off my ring light here so it doesn't look so horrible. Okay, so, so yeah, I thought, I'll show you Washington State through my own pictures. So here is um, Mount Rainier from the ferry. So Washington State does have a lot of water, or at least where I live, which is in the Seattle area of Washington State, there is um, a body of water called the Puget Sound that has, it's pretty much a lot of like um, little waterways, um, in the area so I do live um, a, a ferry ride away from Seattle so um, this is like a picture of Mount Rainier from the ferry and you pretty much see Mount Rainier everywhere so here is Mount Rainier from I think when I was at Mount Rainier National Park okay and so here is another thing maybe Washington might be known for this is um, or at least Seattle this is the spears the the amazon spears so in near headquarters of amazon in seattle they built these like sphere things um so it it is open to the public but i went here when my sis because my sister works at amazon so she was able to let me get into it so this is from the spheres um here is a hiking picture of mine this is I think it's Blanca Lake. It's a real. It was really, really beautiful, like um, emeraldy color. So then, now I'm like, okay, I might show you. I chose this picture to show you because this is more from um, Eastern Washington. It's not totally Eastern, but in case you're just thinking everything is just all mountains, this is how a large chunk of Washington all looks. Um, but they do still see the mountain background in the background. So here's another hiking picture I took. Um, and I thought, oh, this is a really pretty like picture during a hiking picture. There is also a ton of waterfalls in Washington state. Um, here's a picture of me in case you're like, is Joan a real person? There's a tiny picture of me, you can't see me. But this was hiking in the Olympic um, Olympic National Park, I think that's what it's called. The So there's an Olympic mountain range and then there's like the Cascade mountain range. So this is the Olympic mountain range, which um, if you've ever read the Twilight books, that's probably, it's around, the Twilight books kind of take place in that area. Um, so here is um, the, the view from the top of Mount St. Helens. This is the crater of Mount St. Helens. Um, that was when I was crazy and I started doing some mountaineering. Here are some tulips from more north of Seattle during the Tulip Festival in April. Um, here's another picture of me. I'm um, seeing a real person um, on Mount Rainier National Park. And then here's a more not winter picture 
Um, this is in the Olympic mountain ranges too. So this is, I forgot where it was. Um, and here's another Mount Rainier picture. It's like Mount Rainier is the place you go. And oh, here, I was like, here is a picture from the top of Mount Adams when I summited Mount Adams. So this is how everything looks when you're really high up. So, um, and then here's like more of a fall picture um, when things start turning this lovely red. And this was one of the last pictures I took prior to the pandemic. And I was like, oh, look. So we'll see if I could, we'll get back into the hiking after, you know, things start getting normal, which it seems like things are starting to get normal. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see. So if I do end up hiking, <laughs> I'm pondering like, am I gonna be able to keep up with recording more videos, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I did do a lot of hiking prior to the pandemic. Um, but I stopped during the pandemic mainly because I'm not a solo hiker and I do, so I would have had to cho cho chosen like just a select few people to hike with and I was just like, eh, I'll just start hiking again with people, um, after this is all done. So hopefully that'll get to that point. See, that one says, see, okay, oh, no, wait, my brain, okay, I was like, why does that say, no. this one's right. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you what I thought it said, just because it's like, do you need to put glasses on? I, I don't know. Okay, so these are, this one's a really pretty color. I don't know if you can see. It's like, ooh, it's not really red. It's like a, it's a ni nice color, so... So yeah, the thing with kidding up with these Harbor Freight containers, it, it is very fast. So that's why I was like, this is the time I could show you my random pictures. And if you didn't want to see it, you could just fast forward over that part, right? So C is what I use, put in for the big one because there's a lot of them. So yeah, I'm not afraid to mix and match my drill containers. So that's why I'm like, I have these these bigger containers that I got from the Dollar Tree um, and I'm mixing them with my Harbor Freights and I do, and if you do have the Harbor Freight container, they do come with just 24 individual containers, but you can take three more um, from another container and fit 27. So that's why I, I was like, okay, I have like a half full Harbor Freight container. So I was like, this one is the perfect one to, to kit up with it since it was I've already kind of taken the containers and put them into something else so and then I have I do have a bunch of these from the Dollar Tree they were yeah they were like 10 for a dollar 8 for a dollar so and they conveniently do fit in these and I figure with these being the most it'll just be easy to get if I just leave them in the front there um, so yeah this worked out um, I did, yeah, with, with so few colors and it being a 40 by 50, I knew that I needed to use, um, a bigger container because otherwise I would have had to fill up like multiple containers. Um, cause if you have fewer colors, usually that means you're going to, um, these containers are going to be more full compared to a diamond painting that has a lot of colors. Um, so where sometimes you'll just have so few of just one color, you, you ponder if it was worth adding that one color. <laughs> I mean, not that there's, I mean, some of these are pretty empty too. So, I mean, like this one doesn't have that much, um, but more color. I, I'm a big fan of a lot of colors. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of not that optimistic that will, this will turn out well, but I'm going to be optimistic that it will turn out well just because I want it to. <laughs> and sometimes you, more color doesn't mean better. So, yeah. But I'm one of those, I want more color. <laughs> okay, ooh, this one actually, this one's really pretty too. So yeah, I've been doing more of these rhinestone ones. Um, 
it's it's just something different um sometimes you know when you've been diamond painting a lot you need like a variety and hence why i go back and forth from squares and rounds and and these rhinestones are when you're drilling rhinestones they're just really pretty when you're drilling them um so yeah so now it's done that was my last color with 17 colors this was a very short kidding up even with my whole like let's show you um washington state um but be sure to go watch my video on how to make the labels i did use this as the um template for the well this, this was the one i used to make the labels so that's why it's in my brain um but yeah all right, so there it is, all kitted up. Isn't it pretty? Um, let's see if... See, the problem with the Harbor Freights is they're not that clear in the back, so it's not as pretty, but yeah, look at it, it's so pretty. Um, it does look like the 9... I don't know if I said it, but the 939 is just regular drills. So, um, but usually that's what happens. You have at least one color, the black or something, as regular drills. All right. So that was a quick kit up. Um, thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye. Oh, I meant to press stop, but I didn't.